This is a, a man who watched this video with me, and the, the next words out of his mouth were, oh, my God, this could have been my brother. Breaking news, a change of heart resulting in a change of plea. Today, former Memphis police officer Desmond Mills Jr. officially pled guilty to federal charges filed against him in the beating death of Tyree Nichols. The decision is part of a plea deal. Thank you for joining us. I'm April Thompson. I'm Alex Coleman. WREG's Ashley Paul was inside the courtroom, and today Ashley breaks it down for us. Ashley. Alex April, the prosecution is asking for up to 15 years in prison, in prison in exchange for Desmond Mills Jr.'s full cooperation in all investigations involving the beating death of Tyree Nichols. But Mills' attorney says this isn't just about a change of plea, but also about a clearer conscience. My use of force was excessive on Mr. Nichols, and I did make misleading statements. These words spoken by defendant and former Memphis police officer Desmond Mills Jr. as he officially switched to a guilty plea in federal court today. The exceptional empathy that he's had from the beginning of this is what's driving this plea. Uh, Mr. Mills is somebody who understands he did something wrong and he's taking responsibility for it. Cameras weren't allowed in the courtroom, but Judge Mark Norris explained with the plea change, Mills is now considered a felon, guilty of federal charges including using excessive force and witness tampering. The charges come with a maximum penalty of life in prison, but in a plea agreement with the U.S. federal court, they ask for a maximum of 15 years in exchange for his cooperation in the federal, state, and Department of Justice investigation. He is fully cooperating and will, uh, we expect him to continue to fully cooperate, answering all questions truthfully, testifying to his role in the incident and what he saw the other defendants uh, commit at the same incident. Shelby County District Attorney Steve Mulroy also present in court today. He tells us this agreement is part of a global settlement, including the U.S. Attorney's Office, the DA's Office, and Mills. We have agreed as part of that global settlement that we will also accept a plea guilty to comparable state charges from Mr. Mills and that we will agree to make a similar recommendation for a 15-year sentence. And as Mills listened to what his next decades may look like, his attorney explained to us he's relieved. That's why he's charged with a crime, because he failed to act in a way that he knows he should have acted. But immediately upon understanding that, he's begun to cooperate, and today is the first step in publicly taking responsibility. Now, the judge will have the ultimate say in the sentencing. That hearing is tentatively scheduled for May 22nd. Now, coming up at 5, we'll hear from the family of Tyree Nichols about this decision. But for now, reporting live downtown, I'm Ashley Paul, WREG News Channel 3.